I didn't tell you lost my cross during with these, did I? You should have to come back and find out. Stick around and you'll find out today. A lot of this video is going to be about critters around my house. These are adorable. Yes, they're adorable. But I don't like them pooping on my porch, carport, and deck. I'm pressure washing everything and painting everything and understanding everything, trying to get rid of them. To be honest, I can't do things as fast as I would like, but I am getting it done. Progress, not perfection. Progress, not perfection. We're getting there. My new little toy. Oh, get out of my way. You're messing up with my focus. Pressure washer is so addictive and maybe it is time to quit. I think it's about to rain. I love these kind of storms. I picked these up. They're supposed to keep carpenter bees out, and I think it's actually working. There's another one. I am on a quest to get this front porch shiny and bright. I read that birds don't like shiny, glittery, moving things. Well, it's kind of pretty. My delivery people are going to think I'm insane. Get some more up over there, but I have to leave enough to get the car in and out. They can, they've got plenty of room to walk in right there. When it falls down, I'll just tape it up again. Pretty, and it's keeping the birds out of the carport. And no, the snakes didn't scare them off because these have been there. I move them around and look. Just, they don't care. We're not scared of the snakes. Apparently hanging the paper bag upside down to look like a hornet's nest did not work against carpenter bees. Because I pressure washed yesterday and look what is right under the bag. What is that? A little something somethings. My son left his ladder here. While it was here, I decided to maximize use. And being very careful, I'm being super, super careful. I'm going to show you in a little bit an injury I had from falling in the house. Crazy. But I didn't fall while doing any of this work at all. Look at the size of this mushroom. I'm getting in my step aerobics while it's raining by going up and down this ladder, painting the trim and the ceiling on my porch. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Takes a long time, but I want to get it done. One of my medical reports I had to go to, I was very happy to list this. I hate filling out medical forms. Isn't it unnecessary? So I had to see a cardiologist, and they told me I had to wear a five-day. I do not know what that means, but this is what this is. You wear this little device for five days, and it monitors your heart activity, blah, 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 blah. I asked if I could continue to do the pressure washing, the painting, and they told me that I could, so I did. Once they put it on, I couldn't tell it was on there until the last day. It started kind of itching a little bit. I think I may have had a little allergic reaction to some of the uh, things in there. But stick around. I'm going to show you what it looks like taking it off. Not that much fun. And look what was hiding in the vinyl siding when I was pressure washing. And look who wanted to help me paint. If you saw my previous video, he was in the backyard. Now he's on the front, front deck for at least a day. And this is one of the things he thinks he lives on my porch, carport, and deck. And it is done. Still got to put some degreaser on this. Thank you, son, Joe. The day after I pressure washed my carport, look what came up and left muddy tracks. Can you believe that? Also, if you ever build a house or buy a house, make sure that they grade the concrete the correct way. They didn't for this. They thought I wanted it to drain off the one corner on the carport, so I have to sweep this out every time I pressure wash it. 
I fell and hurt my finger about three months ago. I finally had it seen at the doctor, and they decided, yes, yes, you did do something to your finger. So I'm wearing what's called a spring, a spring splint. That's hard to say. Now watch me take this thing off for the heart monitor. Not pleasant. Take this thing off. It's starting to itch. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. That's what it looks like. You have to wear a, what they call a five day. Anybody else fed up with FedEx? UPS left my package by the door. United States Postal Service left it in the mailbox. FedEx dropped it down on the ground by the mailbox like it was just litter. Can you believe that? Let's look at happier things. What am I eating these days? Turkey barbecue sandwich. Yum. Well, I just finished a physical therapy session two for my finger. I'm having a blizzard to eat for lunch to celebrate progress. Because apparently you can fall and hurt one finger. One of my favorite ways to eat leftover biscuits. Cut them in half. Put a pat of butter on each, pop them in the toaster oven. Crunchy. So good. I finished two prayer bottles for two people whom I love very much. These took a while. I've added to them almost weekly since I started them months ago. Really enjoyed making these. Each one got a four leaf clover, taped on the side. I'm going to put them someplace safe. I do prayer bottles. I'll say they're going to pray for somebody. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This is just my way of thinking about them. And adding little things from nature and from my life while I'm thinking about them and praying for them. Just puts the tangible to the spiritual. I hope this does not become a thing with these command strips. I do not. I want to hang all this stuff again. You failed me. One of my friends who also has a YouTube channel had posted something about the solid wall of blue. Well, my fence is not very high, but I just happened to see a 60 minute segment where at least one viewer watched me every, every minute of the last hour. And this is the last 48 hours. So it's kind of cool. The, um, Keeping up with the analytics of my channel. It tells you which ones people are watching. And it compares the last 48 hours and last 60 minutes. I don't really know what to do with this data, but it's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. Dropped a minute. So it goes. The rain did stop and the sunshine did come out, so I'm going to show you a little bit of that weather and then the rest of this video is going to just be enjoying some rainfall off of my front porch. Thanks for watching.